Hey guys, Stacy here. Big day today. It's your Vic City day. I'm so excited. Oh my good giddy gracious. We haven't even done the Christmas quests yet, but that's okay because we have to go to your Vic City. I'm standing outside Fort Pinta to head to the mall to speak to the janitor who has the quest that starts all this fun. I just thought it was hilarious that there were about three buses sitting out here waiting to pick up players because for the next few weeks, there will be extra buses running around Jorvik to handle the crowds. <gasps> Look at this new map! <gasps> Doesn't this remind you of Starshine Legacy? <gasps> this is so cool! So cool! I love it! Oh, that was another thing I was going to bring up, that how I feel like some people... Uh, maybe are a bit lost by the things that are happening and I think a lot of it is to do with not Knowing the storyline in the previous games or having played them I feel extremely fortunate that I've been able to play the Starshine Legacy games because it Kind of lets you know that there's a lot of strings involved that need to be built before it can all come together um, So a lot of people have said there's a lot of leftover strings for quests. They, they want, I want to continue this quest line. I want to continue this quest line. But those individual quest lines need to be built and need to be in place before they can all kind of come together and be solved. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it feels like there's been a lot of incomplete things, but that needs to happen so that we can build toward the bigger storyline going on, you know, like with Garnock and all that intense information. So Jorvik City as well, you can't bring your horses, which a lot of people were upset about. I might as well go to the mall while I'm talking. Uh, oh, a new loading screen. Oh, I love it. Um, that you can't bring your horses to the city, but from the Starshine Legacy games, we know that while the horses are integral part of the storyline, they're not in every aspect of those games. There's other quests and other things that need to happen. And is big into fashion. And when I think of the city and fashion and Yorick City, I think of Anne. And hopefully that means that there's more coming through. There's a lot that goes on with Yorick City. I, I know that's going to tie in with the South Coast stuff and everything. So there's a bigger picture in store is what I'm trying to get to in with everyone wants more story quests and in order for that to happen the whole world needs to be created and all the strings that tie in it's such a a complex storyline you know oh I'm just so excited it's it's becoming such a rich and fulfilled environment with all of these things and I know it's hard to see sometimes uh from the other side of of the screen and just kind of waiting. Oh, it's this Fort Pinta approach. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Um, there's a lot in store and a lot involved and, and growing as a game is part of the process as well and revamping and updating to make it as awesome as it is today. I'm so, I just feel fortunate having played the Starshine Legacy games and I know some of you understand as well because you make references back to those in your comments and stuff. So that's awesome. Uh, but we're here with the janitor and the heat just kicked on. I apologize for, <laughs> for the sound. Um, so we can get started. I'm very excited. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I know there was a lot of comments about unfinished strings and not being able to take your horse with you. And I feel like there's reasons and there's build up and it's all going to come together so well. Ugh, I'm so excited. Oh, so you noticed the flower. <laughs> it's actually a reward for all my hard work here at the mall. How else do you think the floor gets so shiny? Who do you get the, get it from? Ugh, don't worry about it. Okay, since you asked so nicely, I got it from Iris, the florist. She traveled all the way from Aideen's Plaza to visit the mall. Where's Aideen's Plaza? Here in Norvik City, of course. How could you not know? Iris was really impressed by how clean the floor is in here. Unlike some, she even took her shoes off before she started walking around. Not something I would do. Luckily, some people have manners. No, no, I'm not in love with her. Stop it. <laughs> I want to give something back to show that I really appreciate the gift, but my work here in the mall takes up all of my time. <laughs> I know. I have a plan. Go talk to Clementine at the cafe here in the mall. She owes me a favor. Ask her to bring out the best they have, then come back here to me. All right, so we're going to talk to Clementine. Uh, did I mention you need to be at least level 9, a star rider, and have completed the other quests here at the mall 
to unlock the Yorvik City quest line. So as long as you did uh, started the quest with James to get to the mall and then returned a package to him, you should be able to do the Yorvik City quest. Hi there, how about a glass of your cola and a bun? Well, since we're here. Oh, you made contact with the inhabitants of Yorvik City. Sorry, what did you say? I see, the janitor sent you. The tastiest thing we have? Who did he say that to? Oh, has the janitor found love? Then I have the perfect delicacy. Take some of Yorvik's tastiest chocolate hearts from this tray. You can tell the janitor that we are even now. <laughs> even? Okay. Ooh. Oh, I wish I had some chocolates. I would like some Swedish chocolates. I don't know if they're different than American chocolates, but hey, I would like to personally find out. You took your time. Well done, I guess. Huh. Are they shaped like hearts? Why is this final one blank? I can't give her a heart. She'll think I'm in love with her. It'll have to do. As I said before, I have a plan. You don't seem to be very busy. Here, take these chocolate hearts and give them to Iris at Aiden's Plaza. Why don't I do it? I told you already. I'm much too busy here at the mall to have time for this. <laughs> Come on, take this map of Yorvik City. I've marked Aiden's Plaza for you. Go there and give my gift to Iris. <gasps> yes! There's our new map. So there's currently three areas unlocked in New York City. New York City is much bigger than three areas, but we currently have access to three areas. One is Aiden's Plaza, one is Governor's, Governor's Fall, and the other is Pier 13. So we will have to check those out. It's time to explore New York City. Each time you leave the mall or get on a bus outside of Fort Pinta, the map of York City is displayed. Every time you're going to travel between two areas, the map will be displayed so you can easily pick the area you want to travel to. You can also travel back to Fort Pinto via the map. Good luck. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, so a new area has been unlocked. New destination, Aiden's Plaza. Let's head over there. I heard there's new clothes too. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh, Aiden's Plaza, take us away. Oh, and it's decked out for Christmas. Ooh. What's this? <gasps> a trolley. Oh, that's so cool. I imagine that's to get to another section. Where are we now, though? Oh, goodness. Oh, was that a pigeon? Oh, look at this. I love the buildings. <gasps> oh, this is excellent oh wow oh i'm totally impressed yay she doesn't look impressed but i'm impressed oh look at these horse statues where am i gonna take my picture for the thumbnail i guess it will be here I have to think about it for nova too i haven't played on nova yet i want to play on cadence first Um, well, I can't quite, ah, ah. I haven't even done Christmas quests. I have so much to do. <gasps> There's Iris's flowers. Where's Iris? Who's this? Hello. <gasps> Look, it's got the symbols. It's got the girl's symbols on it. Oh, this is so Aideen's well. According to the residents of the city, this was where they found Aideen's harp. There are different opinions about whether it is true or not. Legend has it that the light from the harp shone brightly as it lay at the bottom of the well. After the harp had been picked up, the residents thought the water had been blessed. Even today, tourists come from all over the world to touch the water that is said to have magical powers. Oh, we're gonna drink some. Yeah! Hello, residents! <gasps> These people are dancing! Hello! Hello, dance teacher! Teach me to dance! Oh, I wonder if there's a dance button. No? Wishful thinking? <gasps> a tree! <laughs> I never thought I'd get so excited over a tree! Oh, this something weird's going on with this guy. Oh, he's on the phone. Yeah, hey man, meet me over here by the cafe. He's doing something shady. Oh, there's the green. <gasps> a cool cafe. With Carl. Carl, that's... Isn't that Carl that stole the horse? Wasn't he involved in stealing 
Butterfly? Was that him? Am I thinking of someone else? Oh, something shady's going on over there. Oh no. This person looks distressed or is talking to a parrot. I don't know. The cat the cat wants to eat that parrot though. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Okay. That person's taking a nap. Iris! There she is. There's more graffiti. Who's doing graffiti in this beautiful town? Iris. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. Look at her character model. I love it. I love Iris. I don't even know her and I love her. I'm going to pretend the chocolates are for me. Hello, hello. What can I do to make your day better? Did she just ask what she could do to make my day better? Chocolate hearts from the janitor. Wow, that's so nice of him. Wow, now you really caught me off guard. So sweet of him. Do you think he likes me? Well, he is pretty handy and... Hang on, what are you saying? Go on a date with the janitor? I'm much too shy, really. Irish's cheeks blush bright red. Maybe if he took me to Leonardo's ice cream parlor. It's so cozy there. I definitely just said that with a New England accent. I apologize. Where is Leonardo's ice cream parlor? Do you have a map of Yorvik City? If you get it out, I'll show you where it is. Sure. Here, give me your map. Look here. Iris points to the map. Here's Leonardo's ice cream parlor. They have the best ice cream in all of Yorvik, and it's really cozy inside. Iris looks a little embarrassed and points to a new location. See this area here? Stay away from it. It's Pier 13 and it's full of nasty types. Oh well, I really must get back to my flowers. I hope you have fun exploring Yorvik City. See you later. Maybe we'll get flowers from her at some point to uh, put on our horses. Mm -hmm. what, am, what are we doing now? Oh, I'm so wrapped up, I don't even know. Oh. South Hoof has... Oh. Oh, there's so much. Oh, no. I don't want to go to Pier 13. We, we could return to South Hoof uh, to do Missing Horses. Pier 13 has something about crayfish. Yvonne has graffiti in the square. A darn sofa. There is a quest that rewards a piece of furniture. You may notice. <laughs> Hang on to it. You're gonna need it. <laughs> um, there is a glitch as of today, this morning, when I'm recording this, uh, that the furniture cannot be placed in your wardrobe. Uh, the team is working on that. So if you have played the game and you couldn't move the furniture to your wardrobe, just hold on to it in your inventory and soon enough you'll be able to move it over until you can have use for it. Uh, that was supposed to be a feature out now, but it needs to hold on tight for a little bit longer. Uh, while well, things get sorted out. So just hold on to it. You will need it. Governor's Fall. Health Inspector Harry. Dust Bunny is the size of cars. <gasps> There's so much to do. If players haven't hit 20 now yet, they're going to. I know a lot of people are so close. There's an antique shop. Oh, this is amazing. Is that Yvonne? It is. But look at that graffiti. It looks lovely. <laughs> Can we leave some of it up? Another Clementine? That's the second Clementine I've spoken to today. Maybe they should have named one Stacy. Just just to mix it up. There's the sofa! A sofa! A dance party! <gasps> okay, okay. Let's do the quests here in this area. I kind of want to see Governor's Fall. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we should go to Governor's Fall. I think we take that tram. Tram trolley. Trolley tram. I think they're, they're kind of the same thing. I think the difference is one has wheels and one does not. I don't know. I use them interchangeably. Let's do it. Let's get on this tram. <gasps> yes! Because look, there's so many areas. That, look, there's like a, a stadium. Oh, when I went to Denver, the concert that I went to um, was on the grounds of, of a Western riding arena. And it was so cool. Some of the shows were inside. It looks kind of like that so much going on. Okay, off to Governor's Fall. Let's check it out. I cannot wait. <laughs> Here we are. Here's Leonardo's. <gasps> Ooh, this is so much fun. I haven't even visited shops yet. Oh, there's Yallister over there. Here's the ice cream parlor. I hope they have Froyo. I'm not a big ice cream fan. I know. Blasphemy. I'm not a big ice cream fan. I like Froyo. A stage! <gasps> Is there going to be a new 
act? Is it going to be Raptor? Raptor's going to come here and sing Yorvik City. There's Leonardo himself. Oh, this is so cool. Air hockey. There's air hockey. And someone's looking in the window, all creepy like. <laughs> okay. I want to go into Yallister. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Ah, trolleys. Trolleys. Bye-bye. Ooh, cars. Look out. Oh, goodness. What's going on here? Quick, get out of the road. Some sort of gathering, riot. I know I can't, I can't get off the road. <laughs> we can go in over there? What's that store? Um, excuse me, excuse me, pedestrians have the right of way. Prima Donna Salon? Prima Donna Salon hairdresser, please. <gasps> Ooh! These are new colors. Ah, I love it. Nice. I also am one who would love to see some new hairstyles, but I'm always up for more colors. That's pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about dreads. It's not my style. But I kind of love that pale purple and the pale, uh, I guess it's still purpley blue. That one does look pretty cool, though. I wonder if there's new... Makeup as well. Uh, looks like it might be brought together some of the other ones. Oh, the pink looks nice. Yeah, it looks like makeup we've had, but hopefully there will be more in the future. But here's one, one shopping center, one shopping spot. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that! That's so cool! And a riding hat and shoes. Oh, these were made me think of, of like, ooh, like prep school or something. I just bought a whole bunch of fancy clothes. Oh, I bought this sweater to stay nice and warm. I recently bought this one too. But look at that. I have a feeling a lot of club uniforms are going to be changing into the dark blue riding blazer and purple riding blazer <laughs> oh and stylish competition blazer that i'm not high enough level for oops oh that's lovely i want excuse me there's a lot of traffic here in the city there's yallister and the furniture store coming soon oh lovely Ooh, some city vests. I don't know what makes it a city vest as opposed to a vest vest, but black party skirt, trendy city boots. More of those really long boots. Cool. I like the skirts a lot. The vests are pretty fun too. But I did just get some new clothes, so... There's the furniture store. It will be opening in the future. And then the last area is Pier 13. Should we head over there? There's a snowman. No snow yet. The snow will be coming soon. Where's our tram? There's a tram. Wait for me. Here we are. Now this reminds me of Starshine Legacy, right? Oh man. I don't like it here. <laughs> I don't want to be here. This is terrifying. This is so creepy. It's industrial. Okay, we took a peek. We'll come back here another time. It's cool. I want to go back to the city. That lady warned me not to come here. Uh, Aideen's Plaza. Let's go back to Aideen's Plaza and work on some graffiti. Yvonne, you look so stressed about these things. Hey you, did you do that? What I'm talking about, all the graffiti that started showing up here in the square, of course. Oh, so you say it wasn't you? You don't know. I don't believe you. 
All right, I'll give you a chance to prove your innocence. Paint over all the graffiti here in the square. <laughs> what? What? You can start with this wall beside me. That's the one I like, though, ma'am. Here's a can of paint and a brush. Off you go. Start painting. You, you don't have to prove innocence. You have to prove guilt. That's how that works. Oh, I didn't mean to click you. I'm sorry. Don't yell at me anymore. Oh, I liked that one. Oh, is that all of it? Look, that looks much nicer. Although I'm still not convinced that you're not guilty. You did a good job of removing the graffiti from the wall, but we're not finished yet. I was out on a nice peaceful walk today. When I walked through the alley leading to the square, I was upset to discover even more graffiti. You almost look surprised. Do you mean to say you didn't know about the graffiti on the wall in the alley? Well, I, I did see it, but... Don't, don't yell at me. Go straight to the alley with your paintbrush and paint over the graffiti. Graffiti! Where was it? I forget where it was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. Hey, who are you? Do you have things for sale? What is this? Saddlebags! Do you have saddlebags for sale? <gasps> cool new saddlebags. They look kind of like the Scottish saddlebag. Ooh, I like the one with the heart. The heart? I wish I could see him, though. I understand not having the horse, but I'd like to see it on the horse. Maybe a little pop-up preview of what it will look like. Oh my gosh, there's a mime. Hello. How do I get up there? Hello. I'm coming to see you. I'm on my way to see the mime. Hi. What's your name? He's not going to tell me. He's doing a real good job. He moves a little tiny bit. Look at the subtle breathing movement. His arms, his head moves a little bit. That's really cool. It's easy to make characters move a whole lot, but to make them move subtly, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, there's the graffiti. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. An oil can? It looks like oil. Conditions fulfilled. Hey, Iris. You have all on. It's good. Good to go. Now the alley looks much nicer. Soon you will have proven that you're innocent, but not quite yet. While you were busy painting in the alley, I went to the cafe to buy a bun. To my great dismay, I saw the worst graffiti I ever laid my eyes on. It was slightly hidden behind a trash container, but I could still spot it. This is the worst graffiti so far. If you paint over it, you will have proven that you're innocent once and for all. You know the drill. Here's the paint. Go on, go up to the cafe right away and make the graffiti vanish without a trace. So if you'd like to perform graffiti in Jorvik and get away with it, all you have to do is paint over it when you're done. Oh, it's G-E-D. Got the way, dumpster. Yeah, we don't want G-E-D graffiti, that's for sure. Ooh, stinky dumpster. I hope we don't stink either after this. Can you feel that? <sighs> the air just became much fresher and the atmosphere is nice and peaceful again. Thanks a lot. Mm. What's your name, by the way? Cadence. What a nice name for a young lady. This isn't over yet, Cadence. One day I'll find out who's behind all this. At the moment, I don't have any use for this can of paint, so you might as well keep it. See you again, Cadence. Oh, we might as well keep it, huh? Piece of furniture. Hanging on to that. 